Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be showing you how I have all of my skincare organized. Right now, everything is a complete disaster. It looks like a tornado just whipped through my bathroom. It's gotten to the point where I'm sure you can imagine the collection is out of control because I've just continued to purchase products to review for you guys and this is after I've gone through and given away a lot of product too. A lot and I have a small bathroom I'm in a one bedroom apartment that I share with Eli so I have very limited space so I got some new organizers we're gonna set everything up get it nice and clean and organized and aesthetic so if you guys need some inspiration for small bathroom storage for skincare or other kinds of products this is definitely the video for you I'm very excited I love organizing I love it so much so this is going to be my relaxation for the day. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, before we actually jump into the organization piece of this video, quick explanation. I keep all of my makeup in my vanity that's sitting right in front of me, as well as kind of some hair care items, random miscellaneous things, nail care, travel size items. So that is not going to be in this video. That's all here. And that's a mess as well. So that can be a future video if you guys are interested. We're just gonna focus on the skincare. And I quickly wanted to say that just because an item is included in this organization video doesn't mean that it necessarily gets my stamp of approval just yet, especially if I haven't reviewed it yet. And these are also not all of my skincare products. You guys, there's just a lot, but we're just gonna focus on kind of one area of my bathroom. You guys are like, get into it. I know, but I just wanted to say that because I don't want people to be like, pausing the video, taking, not that people would do this, but you know, like trying to really see exactly what everything is and everything that I use. I can do a separate skincare collection video if you guys are interested with the skincare items that I 100% approve of, you know? I can do that, that's just not this video. So don't get it twisted, don't get it twisted. Okay, let's organize. Okay, so this is the complete and utter hot mess that we're starting with here. I just pulled everything out that I have and set it on the ground because I wanna just kind of set everything out according to categories. So kind of make a little pile for moisturizers, serums, cleansers, etc. So that is what we're gonna do, kind of declutter style. I will just pull everything out and set it out. And then I'll show you guys kind of the organizers that I have to work with and we'll just kind of go through this together. Okay, so here is everything that I have available for organizers. Sorry if you can see my camera in the mirror. I'm going to try to move the angle of that when I start setting everything up, but I'll show you guys. This tiered shelving system right here is what I'm most excited about because I'm just trying to free up more counter space. So that obviously by nature of having shelves is going to do that for me. So I'm super excited about that. I obviously have a lot of these acrylic organizers and they're not all just for the space obviously they would not all fit there so I'll kind of show you guys where I keep the rest of kind of my body care and some hair care items and other things but we'll see what we can get done in this space so I think I want to start off with cleansers let's just go from there and cleansers are not gonna fit here so I'm gonna have to put them on top I can zoom out the camera a little bit one moment okay there we go I am just gonna set all my cleansers here And I also might as well set my makeup removal products here as well. Okay, zoomed you guys in here for the top shelf. This is making me so happy, you guys. Everything fit just barely. So on this side, I have my CeraVe cleansers, my foaming facial cleanser, which I use 24 seven, 
hydrating cleanser and their new hydrating cream to foam cleanser. Technically, this could live over here in the makeup removal department, but I need CeraVe together. I have my Vanna Cream Cleanser right here that you guys know I use constantly, constantly, so I need that up and front and center. And then I have these two CeraVe cleansers that are kind of more treatment-based cleansers, so the SA Cleanser and the Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. I don't use those as frequently as this one or this one or even this one because it's more specific if I'm feeling like I am having some whiteheads or breakouts or clogged pores. And then I have the Cetaphil Gentle Foaming Cleanser in the back here. Up here, I have kind of my more miscellaneous non-drugstore cleansers. So I have this Geek and Gorgeous cleanser. I am going to be doing a review on this brand soon. I'm super excited about it. Purito, La Roche-Posay, and then these are all of my makeup removal products. Well, aside from this one, which also didn't really have a spot. See, that's like the one that didn't have a home. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Fragrance Free Cleanser. And then the rest of these are makeup removal. So my Inky List makeup removers. Pond's Fragrance Free Cold Cream, Micellar Water, Squalling Cleanser from The Ordinary, and this Essentry Cleansing Oil. So I pretty much have reviews on almost everything that I'm going to be organizing here, with the exception of things like this that I haven't reviewed yet. So I'll link all those reviews below. Okay, let's move on to shelf number two. All right, we are just gonna see what fits. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. <sighs> Devastating. Nice. Okay, since I don't have quite as much here by brand, I think I'm gonna organize this by type and texture, so from kind of lightest weight to thickest. Okay, so this is the only thing that didn't fit, Seth. That kind of stresses me out, but we'll make it work. So over here, I have my really, really lightweight humectant-based moisturizer. So Inkula Snow Mushroom for a stew point. I'm gonna reach around here. This Isentry Emulsion, Cetaphil, etc. And then here I have CeraVe, that Isentry Gel Cream that I either just reviewed or I'm going to review very soon my Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors, a couple dermatology products. This is actually their neck cream, and I have their Soothe and Recovery Cream, which I love. Vanna Cream Lotion back there, this Essentry Moist Cream, and then all of my moisturizers that are in jars like this. So these off ones, love those. Dermatology Peptide Night Cream, amazing. Some more CeraVe, and Versed. Okay, zoomed back out for the bottom shelf. We're gonna start with sunscreens and then maybe do some serums. We'll see. Okay, this one I'm going to kind of try to keep organized by brand since I have so many for each brand. So let's start off with dermatology. Okay, so that all fits perfectly. Oh my gosh, so I have my dermatology sunscreens right here, Alta MD, Skin Aqua, and some of my other Asian sunscreens like Purito and Vidio and, <gasps> no, Shiseido Anessa, this one. I mean, these are all amazing. You guys know how much I love these. I have that Kylie Skin one sitting back there. I don't know what to do with that because to me that's more of a makeup primer that just happens to have sunscreen in it. I have not been using that since I reviewed it, so I don't know. And then I have some of my drugstore options here, so CeraVe and Cetaphil, and then I have my coat sunscreens back here as well. Okay, so I just flipped this around to the front. The next category I want to work on is serums, and then that's kind of everything that I use on a daily basis, serums and treatments. And then toners and facial slash hair oils, I don't use those every single day, so if I don't end up having space here, then I will just put them in my other storage spot, which I'll show you guys in a sec. Okay, so I am gonna go by brand here as well. Start off with The Ordinary.
Okay, so I have my ordinary exfoliants here, hydrators, timeless serums, Geek and Gorgeous serums, Verse, couple more drugstore, Purito, and then back here I have different form oh dermatology of course and then i have some different forms of retinoids retinol retinaldehyde and a couple more miscellaneous serums so the things that did not fit the cerave vitamin c like how do i store that that packaging is actually driving me nuts and then the rest are just either my curology treatments or spot treatments so that works out that they're all together okay last thing here is my odds and ends so those spot treatments curology that i was talking about and then i realized i completely forgot my eye creams but things like this are hard to store anyway so i feel like it's good in a lay down compartment organizer like this so i took that three compartment one we will put all of this in here and this is actually going to go in a drawer that i have and set it on the countertop This hand cream doesn't really have a home, so it's going in here. Okay, so acne-related prescriptions and spot treatment, and my eye creams. This I also use on my neck, it's a retinol cream. Works under the eyes as well. So I have some things from Burst, Inky List, and then this CeraVe Vitamin C Serum that also didn't have a home. Eye creams I have just been trying to use through and then I'm going to reevaluate on what, if anything, I'm even going to repurchase. I mean, I'll continue to test stuff for you guys, but I've said before, eye creams aren't necessary, so kind of just trying to work through what I have. So this is going to go in my drawer and that's it. Okay, so I'll give you guys a quick overview of that. I'm obsessed. That's amazing. And then we'll jump over to the other setup that I have. Okay, so this is the setup that I have for over the toilet storage. This is awesome. It's created so much more storage for me. You guys will see how much I can fit on this system, obviously when everything is placed. So the only thing about it is that on the individual shelves, it's little mm, like slats, if you will. So just to create a more stable flat surface, I did put those acrylic organizers in there and that just helps me to keep things organized. So we will place everything in there and then I'll show you guys the final product. Okay, so zoomed you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna start with body lotions here and then we'll move into toners and treatments and oils. I have to show you guys this. This is Eli's one lotion that he actually does not even use. <laughs> I've tried to get him to do skincare, he will not. So there's this lotion that he doesn't touch. And just to clarify, I think you guys know this if you've watched my channel in previous videos, I use this CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion on my face. I mean, you could use it on your body. I use it on my face, but it just didn't fit. So it's gonna have to go there. Okay, next I have my tub moisturizers. Healing ointments, Vaseline. Okay, so I actually keep the rest of my hair care underneath the bathroom counter. If you guys wanna see a video on how I store all of that, let me know. The things that I put out here for me to see are pre-shower hair treatments, so Olaplex and then all of my hair oils and serums. Otherwise, I will forget because everything else that's underneath my countertop, I don't know what to call that, and the cabinets underneath the sink are things that I use post-shower, and I'm just, I'm too forgetful. Okay, and then this last organizer is where I'm going to put all of my hair oils and toners. Toners because I don't use them on a daily basis, but I actually have a lot that I've accumulated as I've been testing out for reviews and quite a few that I have not reviewed yet. So we're not gonna get too into it, but that's where everything's going. Okay, I'm gonna place myself tanners up here really quickly and then I will zoom out and show you guys the full picture after that. Okay, so here is what the final product looks like. So up here for self-tanners, I have my Coco and Eve and Tanologist. If I have not uploaded my review on Coco and Eve yet, it's coming soon. Otherwise, I will link that below. And then I also just put my tanning mitt and tanning brushes that I use behind that as well. And then down here is where we have everything that we just talked through. So this shelf seriously fits so much stuff. Look at that, how amazing. You could even, if you wanted to, if you really needed to, put some sort of shelving system on top of it, on that bottom shelf. 
and the top shelf, honestly, and create more space, but that is perfect for me for now. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. If you are interested in any of the organizers that I used in this video, I will have them all linked in the description box, of course, per usual. And you guys will have to let me know in the comments below. Do you guys kind of have a similar setup for your skincare? Were you inspired by this video? Where do you have your makeup versus skincare? I'm just curious. What else do you guys do that have small spaces? for organization. So that's it for this video. Also, if you enjoyed it, it would mean so much to me if you sent my channel to a friend, any fellow hair care, skincare, makeup lovers, I would love to have them join this small but growing family. If there's anything else you would like to see from me next, leave that request in the comments below. Otherwise, my next video will be up in a few days. And until then, I hope you have a great few days. <laughs>